Yo. You too. So, I am currently in the kitchen because I'm weird. But I've been on this like little diet. I don't know if it's a diet, but I don't know. I've just been trying to. I don't know anyway. But I really been feeding some catfish lately. Like, honest to true God, like, I love bass fishing. I love snakehead fishing. But for some reason, I've been feeding some catfish. So, today, I'm going to take this pole I have here. I don't know if you can see this. Walk around right here. Not overly expensive pole. I think, uh, get from Walmart. Walmart got the best. Take this pole right here, I'm gonna go to Walmart, um, try to find me some live bait, uh, and then I'm gonna get some catfish catching materials, I guess, you know, like a bobber and basically a hook. Um, hook it up there, and I'm gonna let that sit out there for a while, a lake hook, while I bass fish, and hopefully something smacks it, so. And we can bring home a couple catfish. Uh, I will try to catch a cook same day today, but if I don't, I'll probably let the catfish sit in the cooler for two, three days, and let them just, you know, um, kind of clean themselves out. But how you doing? Um, do y'all uh, sell live bait there? Yes, we do. Y'all have some in stock, or y'all? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, y'all got bobbers and stuff there too for like catfish. Fishing? Um, there might be a couple bobbers left. I mean, uh, as like hooks, sinkers, and all that stuff, I'm pretty much out of. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. No worries. Take care. All right, y'all. I'm back. That was kind of quick, but yeah. So we're gonna go hit the West Marine up. Mmm. Ah, oh, my sinuses are hurting right now. But yeah, we're gonna get the whispering up. Go get some uh some live bait. And uh then we gotta probably go to Walmart, get some hooks, and then we're gonna head to Lake Cook. Let's get it. So we got the got some scissors, I needed those. Got some live worms. Let's see what they're looking like. It's actually pretty Are they alive? I don't know. I don't know, but I haven't touched a worm in so long that I really don't want to touch these right now. So I'm gonna put these to the side and set this rod up. You are real. You are real. Since I don't have a weight, I think I'm gonna put it on this. Put the worm on this so this will sink. You know, when you catfish, you usually got weights on there and stuff. I got that. You are real. Looking, is the camera looking good? I hope so. I'd be pissed if none of this comes out right. Wipe the glass off real quick. Bling blinging. All right, got the worms. About to hook up, toss this rig out there. My homeboy said he never caught nothing on Lake Cook, and these worms are freaking huge. Let's see if we can catch this old channel cat. That looks juicy, boy. Um, let's go straight out. Let that sit. And while that's doing this thing, let's cover these worms. Fish really hard, so might be hard. I'm watching this damn thing really hard. place is fishing very hard so there could be little to nothing in here right now honestly smooth this down just a hair No. Damn. No. I guess we'll try like this then. Then I'll go back to the car, get another one. Damn it. You are
dude, they are destroying it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. They're just little bitty ones. Nothing crazy. So at this point, I feel like we're just gonna have to get lucky, y'all. Bunch of little ones. Let's see if I can cast this one out a little further. Hey, these boys is trifling, boy. Yup, something hit it. Didn't take it. That's a good sign. Somebody definitely just smacked him. It didn't take him, though. Which is fine. Let's go. Let's go up just a hair. Just a hair. Nice. Definitely just had a bite. That was sick. Good to stay in little cast for, for crap. Oh. oh, he got it. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Dang. Just gonna wrap him on up. I'm gonna let the tail hang. Is that my brother? It's the juice. That's how we gonna get out. Ooh. We're gonna hold this for a minute, man. See what happens. Oh, we got it. Take it down, take it down. Take it down, take it down, take it down. Come on, come on. Take it. As soon as they hit the water right there, they bit. He got it again. Yeah, take it down. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's still on there. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he won that fight on. Dang! All right, y'all. So last chance to catch this guy right here because he's been giving me all sorts of mischief. That is not the spot. But we'll go there. Let's see. Yep, yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Take it under. Take the bomb under. Take the bomb under. Oh, are they little? He's still on there. Take it, take it. I'm setting the hood next time. We're just gonna set the hood. Well, definitely relax. Dude, they are tearing up, man. Destroying it, dude. So I have one night crawler left. That's unfortunate, so. Try this one. Night crawlers. All right, let's see. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna just yank up as soon as he. As soon as something takes that. Come on, come back and get it. This is tough right here. This is so tough. All right here we go. Got him. Oh, look, guys. Well, y'all, I just caught a turtle. And I feel bad. Oh, goodness. No, buddy. I don't even know how you're supposed to grab a turtle, but I definitely got to get this out. All right, man, finish eating. I'm going to let him. There he goes. All right, bro. Now that was sick. You are Some just destroyed it. Snap. What was that? That was crazy. Something definitely just smacked it hard. Back in the good lighting. That last little trail from Lake Cook led straight to the crib. Crazy, right? Nah, but on an honest note, man, Lake Cook is straight. Uh, so there's a kid out there, he caught a catfish in front of me, which was, I'm probably happy for him, but hurt my feelings because I wanted to catch one. But shout out to that kid if he ever sees this video. This is dude, I took a picture for him. He caught a bass like on my way out, like on a weightless Texas rig. Uh, yeah, boom, caught it, weightless worm. That was crazy. It was a little bass though, so I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of bass in there. That Lake Cook, Lake Cook, <clears throat> Lake Cook gets fished very hard because they stock it with catfish and trout, or just trout and cat, I don't know, something like that. And then you just hit it up. It's very small too, really small. So it's like it's not much room to really, to really, I don't know, not much room to. I don't know. It's just not. I don't know if you're stocking something like that. Yeah, it's it can easily get like filled with people and out fished out. So I'm pretty sure that thing is, is drier right now to the bone. I did get some bites, a lot of little fish. I've eaten that on bait a lot. Um, I did catch something in this video. Um, I know y'all probably like, oh, he clickbaited us. Not really, um, 
Bass ain't easy to name my uh, my channel, so you know, fishing is hard sometimes. You know, you go out some days you don't catch nothing, but it's all about our experience of fishing. It's not. Yes, you want to catch something every time, but it's not always about catching something. It's just getting away, getting out by a body of water, getting a peace of mind, and just enjoying yourself, you know, because this is what I love to do. If anybody out there catfishes a lot, I used to back in the day, like a long time ago, you know, when you go on trips with your granddaddy and great granddaddy and stuff like, but now I don't catfish at all, so my catfishing skills are done. So I need to re-get, re-get those back together. So if y'all have any hits, tips, Anything when it comes to catfishing. I think I did all right though, but if you have anything, drop it down below in the comment section. Uh, I would definitely take your advice and use it next time I go to start catching the catfish. Um, appreciate everything that y'all provide to the channel, the comments, the likes, the shares. For the people that are doing that, it really means a lot to me. Uh, merchandise is out now. Um, if you want it, I don't have a website yet, so still working on that part, but Bass and Easy Bands, um, they're $8 a piece. And the only reason why they're eight is because shipping is freaking crazy, dude. Like, I thought it would be cheaper, but it's not. So shipping is a lot. So they're $8 a piece. If you want one, all you got to do is uh, comment, want one in the description. And I'll respond back to you. You can DM me on Instagram or we'll figure it out. I don't know. Until I get a website up and running. Um, but once again, everybody, make sure you like the video. Oh, somewhere. Is it thumbs up or like? Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. Share for your boy. And it's your boy, Bass Ain't Easy. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I will catch y'all on the next episode.